This story begins on the bustling streets of Instagram, where a 26-year-old man known only as AK stumbles upon the profile of a seemingly devout Muslim woman named Adinda Kanza. With her pictures cloaked in traditional attire, AK is smitten. Fast forward to 2023, and their online flirtations have blossomed into a full-fledged relationship. Who needs Tinder when people are sliding into your Instagram DMs, right? For an entire year, AK and Adinda courted in person, with Adinda consistently donning a traditional Muslim niqab. The niqab, for those unfamiliar, covers the entire face except for the eyes, a symbol of her apparent piety and devotion to Islam. But oh dear, looks can be deceiving. Their love story took flight, and the couple decided to tie the knot. Adinda, hailing from a village in the south, spun a tragic tale to AK. She was all alone in the world, her mother deceased, and her father long gone. She had no family. Moved by her plight, A.K., a resident of another village, organized a modest wedding ceremony at his home on April 12th. But just like a poorly written rom-com, things quickly went south post-wedding. Adinda, the blushing bride, refused to have sex with A.K., citing either her period or some mysterious ailment. A.K., ever the dutiful husband, began to notice other oddities. Adinda refused to engage with his family, maintaining her niqab even within the supposedly private confines of their home. His parents, sharp as ever, immediately suspected something was amiss. From the start, A.K.'s parents were suspicious of Adinda. Adinda was always silent, barely interacting during visits, and perpetually shrouded in her niqab. Talk about red flags. The plot thickens. Adinda's odd request for a marriage guardian raised even more eyebrows. She claimed her family had vanished, forcing her to live alone in the Sudinan subdistrict. AK's suspicion hit a boiling point 12 days into their marriage, prompting him to track down Adina's supposed former address. What did he find? Her parents, very much alive and kicking. Oh, here's where the plot twist hits like a wrecking ball. Adida's parents dropped the bombshell. Their daughter was actually a man named Esh, who had been cross-dressing since 2020. Esh, the master illusionist, had AK and everyone else utterly convinced. Even the wedding photos showed Adida air. Esh, looking every bit the part of a demure bride. The police noted Esh's gentle voice and demeanor, which fooled everyone into believing he was a woman. The grand reveal? Esh had concocted this elaborate plan to marry Ake and get his hands on Ake's family assets. Oh, the length some people will go! Esh now faces fraud charges, which could land him in prison for up to four years. Talk about a dramatic end to a short-lived marriage. But wait, there's more. Police suggested that Ash had an affinity for pretending to be a woman while dating men, revealing a history of such behavior. It turns out our faux bride had previously dated women, making this tale of deception even more crazy. This couple started selling sex tapes to pay for their seven-month-old daughter's medical bills. You won't believe the wild details. Check out this video to find out more.